Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Matt. No, here's another day, another podcast episode, right? Uh, Matt, puro una kong tanong sa'yo, pare. Mainit ba dyan? Mainit ba dyan? <laughs> A summer na sa Pilipinas. Super. As in, like, you have to have the fan on, like, 24-7. Exactly, exactly di ba? I'm sure, uh, matagal-tagal ka rin nakabukas ng aircon, right? Uh, <laughs> Hindi naman. At napapadalas ang bisita natin sa ref. Di ba? <laughs> <laughs> The past few uh, days, no? So, uh, tipid-tipid tayo sa kuryente, Matt. Ah. Um, anyways, Matt, uh, I remember, no, last season, we had a, we had a career on science as well, right? Uh, we hmm. interviewed a uh, science researcher and from the Philippine Nuclear Institute, si Una Neri. Diba? Mm-hmm. Where she yeah. talked about the life of a science researcher. Diba? So today, Matt, science na naman tayo. I, w- I would say science. no? Science, engineering. <laughs> diba? uh, yeah. And ready ka na bang ma-information overload, Matt, no? uh, with our episode today. Okay? Matt, can you yeah. tell our audience anong career yung itatakal natin today? Well, in today's episode, we are looking into the career of an electrical engineer. What makes this career different from other engineers? Why we should care about electricity besides the bills that we pay? And what are the possible career paths? No, if this is your course or if you study this, no. Meral ko na ba yung ano mo, yung only in, uh, only path mo, diba? So, yeah. <laughs> oh, nga eh, diba? Um, I, I, you know, Matt, our guest today is, is a very special uh, previous colleague of mine, diba? Kaibigan ko to. Right. And, I would think that he's one of the most humble, pleasant speaking engineers. Uh, back when I was working in Meralco, no. Uh, alam mo mm-hmm. naman pag mga engineers mat pag nagsasalita yan, di ba? Very technical. Buti na lang, buti na lang itong uh, engineer na guest natin today really knows how to dissect things, really knows how to mm-hmm. keep it layman, di ba? For our our audience, di ba? So, he is a former head of Meralco Power Lab, di ba? Um But I think as of late 2022, he has now migrated to Canada and is now working for key accounts in Hydro Ottawa. No? Um, and he has been the face of so many Meralco commercials before, diba? uh, especially when he orients us on energy efficiency, what appliances to buy, how to save up on consumption. Diba? Ang dami niya ng commercials, right? So, uh, this is not anything new to him, but hello. Welcome again and gu- magandang umaga from the P- Philippines, Engineer Alfred, and magandang gabi <laughs> from Canada. Matt, can we bring in Engineer Alfred to the show? Ayun! Hello! Engineer Alfred! Hello! Hello, ayun. Ayan. Good morning. Ayan. Good morning, Jan, right? So, yeah, good, good. evening here <laughs> from Ottawa. <laughs> Kamusta kayo? <laughs> ayun, okay naman kami, Engineer, no? Medyo yeah. nainggit kami sa weather mo dyan sa Ottawa, no? Uh, <laughs> Ngayon, dito sa Pilipinas, medyo kumikita ang Meralco dahil napaka-init ng uh, weather natin. And yeah, and def- definitely no, kapag uh, you know, kapag mainit ang temperature, it has a, an effect no. Sometimes it's really yeah. significant effect on on uh, our consumption. Diyo, no, di ba? <laughs> Kaya uh, engineer Alfred, you know, mm-hmm. I just want to get this out there no. Uh, I I mentioned earlier, you're one of these engineers na Sobrang komportable when explaining, you know, uh, things and laymanizing things for the common audience. Mm-hmm. Ano kumabot sa point na to, engineer, no? Uh, I, I know your background. Napaka-technical na yan, right? But how did you get into, you know, drilling this down for audience, no? Um, in a nutshell. Nako. Actually, I hope I can give justice to all that you said, ano? <laughs> <laughs> well, sa totoo lang yeah, it's it's uh that that's really the challenge, especially if you're coming from a uh, technical background. Yes. Uh you know, naman, if you are an engineer in, in whatever discipline, you no, know, whether electrical, yeah. chemical, mechanical, you know, uh parang ang view sa kanila is you know they are back end folks. Yes. They are people who are. Uh, sometimes nga in solitary. <laughs> no, kah- kaharap lang probably are the machines, the yes. equipment, you know. And uh, yeah, so parang ang tingin sa kanila behind the scenes and you know, they they do all this number crunching 
they do all this analysis, they do the design, uh, so operation and maintenance. So parang hindi mo sila nakikita in the ano eh, in the um, in the public eye. So that's really the challenge and um, when I was in college taking up um, engineering, uh it's 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 all very technical, ano? So sometimes you you wonder ano ba 'tong mga pinag-aaralan namin, no? Exactly. How can this exactly. Cool? Because sometimes this is float everything is floating in your head, eh. No, all these concepts, all these, and it's difficult, huh? it's, it, I'm telling you, it's 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 not it's not very easy. So, if you are not focused, if you are, alam mo yun, nadala ka lang, napagaya ka lang, <laughs> na nag-engineer yung mga kabatchmates mo, nag-engineering ka na rin. So it can really be, ano, be difficult. So yeah, going back, so it's it's very technical. Kaya yun talaga yung challenge, you eh, know, in how to to simplify all this, no into layman's term yeah uh, uh, ideas and concepts na mas maiintindihan ng 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 public no ng, ng consumer yeah. Lalo na ngayon because of social media di ba parang everything is yeah. it's bits and pieces and it's kailangan easily digestible and uh, dapat madaling maintindihan no for for the tama folks out there. so yeah very challenging so hindi ko rin alam kung Paano ako napunta dito no <laughs> when i was uh, when i started in miralco i uh, i started in the business centers so it's yeah it's it's an arena no it's yeah, there there's some uh, the foundation is there electrical engineering so we were handling um, you know service application and all the technical uh, all the technical things no so I remember nga dun is that kapag merong mga complex questions, it's it's always referred to the engineer. <laughs> Alam mo yun, yung mga customer exactly. questions. Exactly. If it's difficult, if it's complex, if it's very technical, it's it's always being referred to the engineer. And probably yeah. dun siguro, no, my experience being in the business centers of Meralco has really helped a lot in terms of balancing all this. Mm. Uh, from a very technical perspective back in college and yes. uh, kailangan mo uh, i-explain no engineers oh, eh, kailangan mo i pu- pu- puro numbers puro concepts like ano ba right. ohms law power law you know all of that na yun nga back then sometimes you don't appreciate uh, paano ba 'to makakatulong sa buhay ko <laughs> or yes. di ba so yan so going to Meralco so yun nga I was in the business centers so nagkaroon ng balance no so parang teka lang this is not parang this is not really purely technical and you have to develop some other skills no kasi yes. hindi kayong ano eh hindi kayong nasa likod lang yes. and uh, mm-hmm. you know just uh, checking all this uh, if you're in the facilities checking all the equipment if it's working properly yes. if it's in order and then you just do maintenance works or or kung in some other fields naman you do the design yes di ba and then that's it no and this time, you are actually customer facing. Yeah. No? Galit so, yung nanay. Galit yung nanay na, pinut- <laughs> na pinutulan oh, na siya. Yeah. Ano? And it's, and it's uh, really, uh, parang, di ba pag sinasabi nga nila, it's a different animal. Yeah. Kasi you yeah. get to interact with different kinds of folks, yes. different kinds of people. Mm-hmm. Some are okay. Some are not. Some are irate. Some do understand. Some, you know... It, it, it's coming from all walks of life, eh. You know, yeah. some some are technical, some are not, some medyo legal and dating. <laughs> diba? So, with that kind of experience of uh, interacting with different kinds of people, you know, from the ordinary folks, residential folks, to commercial people, to industrial people, to, to even government people, politicians. So, parang... Uh, there's really more to just being technical about it. Yeah. Yeah. So, do, doon ko nakita na there's a lot of aspects na, you know, and it's also a skill that you'll yeah. have this, uh, that you, kailangan, you could, you, you could effectively communicate. Correct. Yeah. Nung college But, nga, yan ang, yan ang laging oh. ano, usapan, no? Nakapag-engineers, yeah. eh, hirap daw mag, ano, 
hirap mag-express, oh, exactly. hirap mag hirap <laughs> mag-explain ko engineer, explain eh, in English yung mga tipong ganon. Oh, oh. naisip ko engineer, baka kaya sa Meralco one setup is the uh, the engineers like yourself are closely in the same room or at least in the same floor with marketing professionals, no? Uh, de ba? Mm-hmm. Para talagang may counting synergy, may counting training para sa inyo, right? Uh, on how to yeah. communicate it to these people, right? So shout out True. pala kay Ma'am Deza, Ma'am Deza Lim of uh, of Meralco oh. and Oh yeah, yeah. Sir Tony, yeah. no? Sir Tony of Meralco. Salamat sa mga trainings ninyo sa amin. Actually, <laughs> yan yan balance, no? You you hit it right. When I moved to to Lopez building, no? So yes. from mm-hmm. business centers, napunta na ako ng ano ng ng Ortigas uh, marketing and customer solution so ibang dynamics na rin naman to ulit exactly, di ba? exactly. kasi from uh, this time before kasi sa business center nakafocus ka lang dun sa area of jurisdiction mo eh Dama. Diba? Like, in, like in my case I was assigned in Manila so I was handling the areas of Tondo Binondo uh, Manila no? so mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pero when I moved to uh, marketing and customer solutions, parang, teka lang, hawa ko na yata ang buong franchise ng Meralco. <laughs> Oy! Wow! <laughs> diba? <laughs> Kasi from, from a, you know, from uh, from a certain locality, uh, back then I was just handling Manila. So I was, just, I was just dealing with the customers of Manila. Now, yes. I'm actually dealing with the entire customer base of Meralco exactly. especially when I was assigned to to Power Lab. Yes. So it's a different kind of ball game again. So I need to refresh and you know refresh my engineering knowledge especially on the electrical and energy side kasi medyo magkaiba rin yun ha. Kaiba yung electrical engineering at saka energy engineering. Ooh. So yes, okay. in, in our case kasi since uh, of course it, it's really about energy, no? So it's it's energy engineering but They are very much similar, no? In in such a way, na yung mga concepts about power, um, electricity are pretty much the same. Yun yun din yun, no? But yes. pagdating kasi sa energy engineering, meron ka ng ano eh? Meron ka ng uh, concepts of you know consumption, di ba? Yes. And energy is not just electricity; yeah. it can come in various forms, no? Di ba? Iba-ibang ang energy sources natin. We have solar, we have wind. Yeah. No we have, uh, oh, sa Philippines wala <laughs> no? Yeah. No, pero pero dito talagang uh, number one source namin well particularly in Ontario it's it's really nuclear and hydro yeah, no? yeah. sa atin kasi medyo coal based pa rin yes coal based okay, pa konti pa eh tsaka sa renewable no so yan so yan yung ano things about energy no So mal- malawak din siya but again they are very related very similar yung foundation mo sa electrical of course gamit na gamit ko rin when when dealing with 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 energy no So mm-hmm. yun no so I, I have to refresh again kasi medyo iba na yung ginagawa ko dito um, we are more on uh, research and testing and product development and customer education Okay so mm-hmm. The same challenges I had when I was in the business centers to laymanize and simplify all these technical uh, concepts and aspects. This time, naman, it's 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 uh, pretty much the same, but more on you know education on energy efficiency, on how to save, on how to be you know to conserve, to be efficient. So. Uh, ayan na, alam na alam na ni Lance yan, ano? lahat ng mga ginawa namin for the programs like Bright Ideas, Power Ideas. So all of that is really to to help out to our consumers on how to be energy efficient. So yun din, I think the training that I had when I was in the business centers, interacting with people, uh, doing information campaigns, uh, helped a lot, no? when i transition or move to to customer solutions because you know it's it's a much wider audience i i didn't expect nga na ano eh, na i would uh, i would come out on you know radio tv and um, doing all these uh, forums for 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 the customer so i think yeah it it really helped when when i was in the business centers all the way when i transition so that's why siguro Actually, ewan ko, ewan ko kung maniniwala kayo. Sa totoo lang, mahihain ako. 
Wow. <laughs> talaga yeah. naman, ha? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. Mahihain talaga ako. But, uh, you know, kasi wala akong choice, eh. No? Yeah. When, when I was yeah. in the business centers, I have to go out. I have to face customers whether uh-huh. irate yan or whether they're they're okay ma- maayos ka usap or di ba and i would think engineer note dahil you broke out of your shy shell <laughs> yeah. sobrang nag multiply yung reach ng taong natutulungan mo di ba oh, yeah. wow. people know how to look at orange tags to just find how much their ref would consume later on di ba or how to oh, say yeah. uh, how to buy the right size of aircon di ba so engineer yeah. ibang beast pala kapag ang engineer na bigyan ng bosses di ba kapag nabigyan siya ng confidence oh, di ba true true I, true i love it oh, i love the combination di ba oh pero engineer i have, i guess i have a question no it's one thing to explain to people uh what is uh, yung electricity kung may complaints man sila mm-hmm. um you mentioned about your transition from the different uh, sectors of uh, Meralco, no? Yeah. But then, I guess, it's another point entirely na you're featured in these, like, media engagements, radio engagements, these uh, commercials, these um, social media posts as well. Parang, how did that come about na you're the face of, you know, explaining and laymanizing everything, no? Parang, <laughs> parang yun yung, yun yung gusto kong i-explore, no? Ayan. Oo nga eh, paano nga ba? Actually, hindi ko rin alam ano, kung paano talaga, na, <laughs> paano ako napunta doon. Well, uh, okay, when I moved to uh, to marketing and customer solutions, uh, I was given the responsibility to handle uh, Power Lab. So, Power Lab is a research and testing facility. So, dito ginagawa lahat ng... Uh, tests no, for appliances, equipment, and basically all the learnings that we get there, we share it to the customers no, as part of our, you know, uh, mandate also to educate the consumers about energy efficiency. So, hindi lang siya, ano eh. So, the, the concept really about Power Lab is not just, uh, you know, a desktop research of what's the consumption of an aircon or how much will you save if you do this, if you do that. But, we want it to be tested, okay? We want it to be, you know, uh, to really put some um, credibility to it, no? That we did a lot of tests and this is these are the results and this is... Normally kasi, uh, of course, pag nag-research ka lang, probably it, it may not be also in the proper context. Like, for example, probably baka na research mo is in a... Uh, you know, for example, in the U.S. or Canada territory where the, the the temperatures or the weather are really different. So it might not be applicable to, you know, the Philippine or the local setting. So, kaya doon namin naisip na ano eh, no, we really have to do this no, in the in the local context, in the local setting, our temperatures, no, and backed up by research, no, because we have marketing intelligence na nakikita natin ano bang behavior ng customers natin no we were surprised to find out that actually some of our customers na nagiiwan ng ref na nakabukas thinking na oh, sorry not nakabukas but they turn it off no they turn it off overnight because thinking that they would they would be able to save and then they will plug it back in the morning so may mga ganun no may mga ganun kaming nadidiscover na behavior ng ating mga consumers no and uh, that's one of our role is really to to meet bust all this no all these uh, myths about electricity or energy practices and uh, let's put some science into it no makakatulong ba will it help no will it help will it help you save or it will not so yeah. that's the idea behind behind power lab so akala ko i was just doing doing all that Doing all the technical the things. research. Yeah, doing all the studies, doing all the research, and then, Uh-oh. okay, marketing. This is the information. Okay, you can now um, uh, share it to our disseminate. Uh, disseminate. Eta yung script mo, no? Eta yung script mo. <laughs> no? Mag take na Actually, tayo. not even that. I, I I never thought na one day, ako na pala mismo yung magdi deliver no. Exactly. Diba? exactly. So I I just thought that I just do all these studies. 
and then uh, all this relevant information yeah. and <clears throat> discoveries for our customers. And then I will let marketing do the, yeah. of course, yeah. do their <clears throat> job to, to, to cascade, to communicate. Yeah. And share all this to our customers, but no, probably they needed a face. <laughs> oh, hindi lang face. I mean, face wiser, yes. Pero mm. yung credibility that a, an engineer mm. brings is yeah, yeah, like yeah. a doctor. It's like a doctor when yeah, they yeah. try to communicate how important vaccination is, right? Ganon din yung sa right, inyo, right. engineer. But tama kami maniniwala yeah, yeah. sa mga marketer lang, de ba? Na possibly binebentahan lang kami, de ba? Ng mga services nila. Uh, so yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I was really, I was really surprised that you know, parang wow, parang eh, paano to shy type pa man din ako, tsaka I'm not really used to. <laughs> no, yeah, actually, yes, I'm not used to being interviewed. I'm not used to. I'm used to, you know, probably talking to a large audience because of my Uh-oh. experience doing information yes. campaigns and uh, you know, reaching out to to Manila, Manila area lang. But Manila area lang, ano? For example, specific barangays lang or, you know, specific group of customers lang yung imi-meet mo and then you'll do some presentation and discuss yes. uh, relevant topics for them. But uh, never did I imagine that I will actually have a super big audience no? in, yeah. in, in, in the platform of radio, TV, social yes. media. You know, so it, it came as a surprise as well. Uh, and it's so nerve-wracking, <laughs> lalo na lang simula, <laughs> because I'm really not used to it. And um, yeah, but I guess it, I guess it panned out well, di ba? Uh, habang dumadami yung mga engagements, no? yung mga TV, radio uh, appearances and uh, guestings, and uh I think it's ano rin eh. It's uh, it's also fueled because of that, you know, passion and desire really to educate uh, customers, Ganda. and trying my best to explain it uh, in a way or in a manner na madali nilang may intindihan. No? Mm. Sometimes it's it's really hard, pero uh, somehow no, kinakaya kaya naman and. Yeah. Um, uh, really trying your best to ano, to yeah. to simplify all that for the for the customers. Engineer, kanina you mentioned uh, iba pala no iba pala ang electrical engineer, which is mm-hmm. what we guessed you are, and an energy yeah. engineer yeah. no and an yeah. energy yeah. engineer, ba? How does that mm-hmm. differ no para sa mga nakikinig sa amin na mga career enthusiast? Okay, so pag uh, electrical engineering kasi, so you are definitely dealing with uh, obviously, electricity. So mm. all the concepts involving uh, electricity, the flow of electricity, the flow of power, uh, concepts, principles, formulas related to that. Uh, that's the electrical engineering discipline. Now, when you move to energy engineering, it uh, it's not only about electricity. So, meron ka na ditong, uh, you know, uh, involvement with all the other energy sources, no? like uh, uh, natural gas, uh, fossil fuels, uh, sa renewable side naman, you have, um, of course, solar, wind, and then hydro. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, you know, so it, it's now more of a... Uh, interplay or connection of the dis- different disciplines as well from electrical, mechanical, so pati mechanical and engineering economy, no engineering economics. Because yes, uh, okay. for example, you're gonna put up a solar facility. Will it make sense, right? So, okay. uh, yeah. in terms of uh, you know balancing the costs and uh, uh, and the savings that you're gonna get. Kaya nga, ano eh, uh, here also, as part of what I do, we help customers uh, assess and evaluate their energy business cases. So Ooh, it's okay. really it's really about, you know, energy, whether it's electricity or gas, and then the economic side of it. Mm-hmm. And then also, mm-hmm. of course, ngayon, 
pinapasukan na rin mm. ng environmental side of it. Okay? Right. So, when you uh, shift your focus to energy engineering, so, yan na rin yung mga tinitingnan mo. So, about the energy source, yeah. about the economics, and about the sustainability and environmental yeah. side of it. Parang it's okay. it's so, closer to what mm. to what a customer cares about. Yung binabayaran ko, yung impact ko to environment, di ba? Yeah. Uh, yeah, true. Ang galing, ang galing, ha? Uh, tama ba yung, yung iniisip ko? Uh, electricity, electrical engineer is all about electricity. How does it flow from one Yeah, it's, it's the study of electricity. Yeah, it's basically oh, yeah, yeah, the exactly. study of electricity. But for, so, for, for, engi- energy, for energy engineering, it combines, yeah, it combines the field of electrical, oh, okay. mechanical, environmental ah, science, mas and ano economics. Okay. Yeah, yeah gotcha, and it gotcha. deals okay. with generation and uh, transmission. Transport. Yeah, yes. exactly, exactly. Yes. Trans- transmission, transportation, and the management of the use of energy. Shit. Mas malaki pala. Okay. No? Mas kaya, malaki pala. Oh, oh, kaya when, yeah. when, when I assumed power lab, <laughs> so it's not Mm-mm. just electricity concepts. Yes. No? So you, you have to have uh you know ideas about energy management right mm-hmm. so kaya alam mo yon on uh nag-aral of course inaral ko rin ano uh, kasi i i have the foundation no i have yeah. the foundation because of my electrical engineering background but now when i'm uh talking about energy efficiency energy conservation so it's a different ball game so you have to uh you know combine all that all that fields. Kasi, for example, ang, ang heating and cooling appliance uh, equipment, actually, it's a mechanical discipline. HVAC. No? I don't know if you've heard HVAC, heating, yeah, ventilation, yeah. and mm. air, con- uh, air conditioning. Mm. It's actually a mechanical system. Right? But, if it's powered by electrical, dyan pumapasok ang electrical engineering. Right? Oh. So, mm-hmm. This energy engineering, it's really yeah, the, the, the combination of all that fields. No, na nabanggit natin kanina. Electrical, mechanical, environmental science, and uh, engineering econo- uh, economics of all this. No? Kasi af- at the end of the day, um, if you want your project approved, for example, you have an energy efficiency project that you want to, to implement, does it make sense for the company? Does it make sense for the business? No, because baka mamaya it's it's uh, it's so costly with uh, tapos hindi ganon ka significant yung savings na makuha natin and the carbon reduction that we're gonna get. So probably it's not worth uh, considering. And ah, you yes, uh. assess and move to probably a different technology that could also support yung plans nyo on on yeah. uh, on the sustainability plans net yes. zero plans carbon neutral plans yon yeah engineer uh, i was I, i was talking you on linkedin no tapos nakita mm. ko yung yung pangalan nyo engineer sa linkedin uh-huh. alfred iporak r e e r m e l e e d g a okay so engineer okay. Earlier you mentioned you had a lot of career uh, sort of career transitions and career up upskilling then no. Can you yeah. talk to us about what these acronyms are? Diba? Kasi alam lang namin ni Matt OMG, no? Yung sa inyo medyo <laughs> <laughs> Yung sa inyo engineer medyo marami no. Uh, can you talk okay. to us about this? Uh, I, I guess RE is registered, uh, registered registered electrical engineer. Ah uh, there you go there you mm. go. Okay. okay, registered electrical engineer. Right, right. Okay, so um, actually, ngayon nga, I'm still working on some other things like uh, uh, cert- being a certified energy manager or CEM. Wow. So yeah, actually now I'm register na ako to to have the exams for that. Yes. Mm-hmm. So and also I'm targeting to be a CMVP, no? certified measurement wow. and verification professional. <laughs> lead is uh, uh, a lead pala. green associate, no? So it's it's um uh, it's a program of hmm. the US Green Building Council. So yan naman is ano eh, uh, more of uh, sustainable cities, homes, 
and you could incorporate eco-friendly designs in the building construction, interior design. Mm-hmm. So, marami ring ano yan, marami ring aspects na tinitingnan tinitingnan diyan, no? Like energy and atmosphere, water, air quality. So, it's really ano, it's really all about um, environment and eco-friendly designs for buildings and and cities. I I think sa diyan sa Philippines may mga lead certified buildings na rin eh. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I, I think it's not a lot, but I think uh, there are a few buildings there that are already gle- uh, LEED certified, no? Yeah. Uh, merong gold, silver, platinum certifications, yan, eh, depending on on the points that you get for for being uh, compliant to, to to being an eco-friendly building. So, ayan, nag, nag-take rin ako niyan. And uh, fortunately, naka, ano naman, nakalusot. Galing pala na <laughs> So, I'm now a green associate and yeah. looking forward as well to specialized also in in building design and construction yeah. at saka homes and cities. RME. Yeah, RME is, uh, RME. RME is a registered master electrician. Uy, grabe naman. Wow, master. <laughs> wow, master na. Oh. Okay, okay. Pero hindi, okay. Uh, okay, hindi ko rin naman masyado na practice yung pagiging, ano, pagiging RME. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when I graduated kasi in college, uh, you have the option to take both REE, licensure exams, and RME. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so during that time, ang thought process ko kasi is, uh, habang fresh pa, di ba? Sayang naman, i ko na mm. both. Might as well. <laughs> Might as well take them na. both. You, yeah. I, I don't know if it will the license will be useful later on. I'm I don't have the answer for it that time, so hindi ko pa alam. Oo. Basta sabi yeah, ko lang good. since it's still fresh, probably I uh I should take it as well. So Got it. usually kasi kapag you're gonna take the REE, it's 3 days of exams. Most of the engineering graduates, yun, yun lang kinukuha nila, no? REE, so three days of exams. And then for those who also want to take up RME, so you have a fourth day. So four, yes. four straight days wow. of, uh, of licensure board exams. <laughs> Kaya, grabe rin, grabe rin talaga. Kaya I'm telling, uh, I'm telling kanina na really engineering is, is you know, it's really a serious thing. Uh, hindi, siya, oh, hindi siya a walk in the park. Uh, so you really have to to put your focus no if if you want to be an engineer someday in whatever discipline of of engineering uh in terms of ano naman engineer career paths no nakita ko sa linkedin engineer you call yourself mm-hmm. a product manager no of uh, okay. i think Meralco power lab no yes yes um, yeah. that's for Meralco so power kapag, lab so kapag ba electrical engineer ka or energy engineer usually like Matt earlier mentioned, di ba? Lahat ba, lahat ba sigurado meral ka na yung pupuntahan mo? Or meron bang ibang career paths rin dyan? Like, can they venture probably into like maybe software or different kinds of engineering later on? Pwede ba yan? Mm. Yes, definitely. No? Kaya nga, as I mentioned kanina, uh, if you are an engineering graduate, so medyo strong na yung foundation mo. And definitely, right. you have a a lot of opportunities can open up for you if you're an engineering graduate. So it can also be a stepping stone to more specific uh, study or areas of interest. As an engineering graduate, kasi you can have a variety of uh, areas that you can work on. No, They can be employed, well, particularly for electrical engineers, they can be employed by electrical utilities, which is the likes of Miralco and Hydro Ottawa. Uh, communications companies, uh, what else? Manufacturers, uh, for example, manufacturers of electrical yeah. and electronic equipment, oh, uh, yeah. consulting firms, uh, and government work. No, so oh. and very very wide wide yung range niya, no? Manufacturing, processing, and even transportation industry. No, so yung roles naman will also vary. No. So of course, lahat naman ng mga graduates no starts uh, as a knowledge worker. No? You, you start from you know, may entry level ka, entry level position, it's a junior position. So you're a knowledge worker, uh, but of course, it can open a lot of doors for you to be in management, management roles, even executive, no, or advisory. Uh, what else? Auditor and 
consulting, no? Consultant Dami. roles. Yeah. So, yeah, it's it's very ano talaga. It's uh it can open up a lot of opportunities and as I mentioned nga, no, it's a stepping stone for uh specific areas of interest or study, no? Lalo na for example in my case, no, dahil na na, na linya ako sa sa energy sector, kaya uh nag nag ano rin ano, nag nagkaroon ako ng uh, I tried to really study Uh, back then, when I was in Meralco, I, I studied engineer, uh, energy engineering concepts, no, energy efficiency, energy conservation, ba? para makatulong din dun sa sa the, the thing that I do back then, which was Power Lab, no. And here, since I'm still uh, connected with with the energy sector, being in Hydro Ottawa, nag ano rin ako. I I took up um, certification programs in in again energy management and uh yeah and lead and uh later on you know, i'm trying to also be a certified energy manager and uh, measurement veri- verification verification professional so you know it it opened up a lot of um uh, areas of interest for me but you know right now it the focus is really on the uh energy side of it or energy engineering and, and energy management Marius. engineer alfred no A question about ano about you said that there's a lot of paths no pero yeah mm-hmm. na, napapunta ka sa ano sa Meralco mm-hmm. for electrical engineer graduates or at the time no parang how do they see Meralco is it like the is it like the Google of electrical engineers na oh yes people want to <laughs> definitely people, ayun people definitely. want to end up in uh, Meralco oh uh, uh, I, I think so no uh kasi when Of course, nung medyo pag-graduate na kami, medyo Uh-oh. yan ay mga usapan eh, no? Saan na tayo after? ba? Diba? After all this hard work, after all this uh, sacrifices, no? And then yung hirap mm-hmm. ng uh, being able to to finish uh, an engineering course. And ang next hurdle kasi is the board exams eh. So, right. yan yung isa pang, ano mo yun, kinakatakutan ng, <laughs> ng mga gagraduate ng engineering mm-hmm. is really the board exams. You know, sometimes you're thinking na, uh, what if sa batch, sa batch mo, no, malasin ka. <laughs> and then oh, all my. of them passed and then except you. So, minsan oh. may mga ganong thoughts, no. So, again, but, you know, it's, it's, ano eh, it's, it's really, uh, When you are on your fifth year, so the discussions change from yep from board exams, licensure exams, and of course, what's life after? No? San mm. san ba tayo pa paso? Kasi again, ang lawak ng field eh, ang lawak ng field. But uh, I guess sa sa atin, Jan, no, the the target really of uh, of graduates is you know the the top companies out there, no. And uh, I think, in my opinion, number one din dyan is Meralco. Meralco, mm-hmm. especially for electrical engineering uh, graduates and board passers. No? Ako, in my case, that's really my target. So it's really Meralco. And then next is, the, I also targeted um, uh, the generation side. Kasi, again, medyo nalilinya pa rin sa energy. No? Energy pa rin. No? Right, Kasi right. I, I'm targeting the power supply chain. Eh. If I can't get to Meralco, which is the, the distribution side of the power supply chain, I'll probably try also in the generation side. So these are the power plants. And first uh, gen, mga ganun, no, sir. Yeah, first gen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then the the middle part, which is the transmission side. So NGCP, diba? or that eh, tawag is Transco, di ba? So yes. <laughs> okay. So I guess. When when you are in the electrical engineering field, so that's your target. No? That's your, that that's mm-hmm. really your target. Uh, I remember. Nga and you when, stayed. And you stayed. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> probably I was also lucky because at that Uh-oh. time, at that time it was really like mass hiring for Meralco at that time. So mm-hmm. we graduated at the right time. I guess I was just lucky. Uh, during that time, they're they're into mass hiring and uh, and yeah, fr- from there um, it went out very well for me. That's why I'm, I'm really thankful, no, sa, sa Meralco yeah. for 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 this career, no, that 
actually I I truly love. No? Yeah. I enjoyed every every day na working, wow. no? Work, working with yes. Meral. Yes. <laughs> oh, ang sarap sa feeling eh, especially when when yeah. you can help out, when you can help out the skill, the ba? The skill uh, that you can help. Grabe. Yeah, exactly. Exactly that's true. And then <laughs> later on when you move to uh, to a larger audience, no? When I moved to marketing, customer solutions, and power lab, so parang mas na multiply pa yung sense of purpose, eh. Exactly. Right, the sense of uh, yeah. you know, sense of meaning, uh, and then when when people uh, reach out to you, when people reach out to you to to consult you and ask questions, uh, actually even now I still receive some messages in Messenger. Uh, mm. na nagtatanong, na nagtatanong about Nakatawa. about about energy efficiency and sometimes even you know what's what's the best to buy or yeah. is it the right time to buy or to replace <laughs> the, this specific appliance or equipment so even if of course my heart will always beat Meralco no kaya wow. pa rin if if <laughs> if, uh, <laughs> if some people back there still reach out and uh, you know in, in whatever way that I can help I'm really Uh, really grateful yeah. and really want to help. In retrospect, engineer, uh, you spent 18 years in Meralco. Wow, 18! That's almost <laughs> two decades, right? So, yes, dapat yes. giro ka mo ng 20. 20. Mula, oh, gra- okay. Matt, okay. Matt, mula graduate ni engineer Alfred, Meralco na siya, and he never left. No, hindi. Actually, no. Ah, hindi Actually, pa? Lunch, really? No, no, no. There's a funny story there. Eh. Uh, when I... Uh, when I graduated uh, from electrical engineering, I was supposed to, to take the board exams in September of uh, 2002. Mm. But uh, unfortunately, uh, I got hospitalized before the board exams. Oh wow! Days okay. before, uh, days before the board exams, I got hospitalized. No, probably for I don't know reviewing too hard. <laughs> I don't. <know. laughs> Hindi ka naman yeah. nakoryente, engineer. Hindi naman. Hindi, hindi naman nakoryente. <laughs> hindi naman, hindi naman. Hindi naman. But, you know, my potassium dropped and everything. Hindi ako makatayo. So, I don't know, probably over fatigue or whatever. Basta, wow. I wasn't able to take the the, the, the licensure exams uh, of that year. So, tinake ko siya the following year. And then, bef- uh, from September. So, that was May. So during that time na alam mo yun, may may gap ako doon. So I I worked uh, for a pharmaceutical company. Alam niyo yun, Unilab, familiar kayo doon, yeah, di ba? Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. Okay, Katabi, so, yeah. Katabi lang. Katabi lang ah. <laughs> oh, oh, right, right. <laughs> so uh, I worked there sa warehouse. Wow. And about that okay. time, I was also again reviewing and preparing for the board exams of May 20, 2003. Okay, so yun. So after that, I I took the board exams and luckily uh, passed it. And so when I so nagresign na rin ako don. I, I resigned sa Unilab and then, sure, no license ka ne, no electrical engineer ka na. So ang taas na ng confidence mm-hmm. mo. It's a mix eh. Ang taas ng confidence mo because you're licensed, but at the same time, when you go about job hunting and see all these uh, postings that they require x number of experience or Mm-mm. should have Mm-mm. experience in this and that in this and that so sometimes it disheartens you na how can i how can i even enter how can i even enter because i don't have that experience or the number of years that they're looking for but uh you know you try and try you apply and apply and uh coming on when when we were job hunting we were passing by miralco or tigas and uh, mm. ano ano pa sinasabi ko noon eh kasi sana ano, naiinis ka because they're not even calling you etc ganyan uh-uh. uh, so <laughs> and then meron akong classmate who uh, uh, informed me that actually Meralco is, is hiring now so why don't you follow up apply na oh you know? actually i have an application i have an application but Uh, no, ane, no, no response. Eh. So, <laughs> I, I, I think, yeah, I, I think you just have to follow up. Because yeah, I was yeah, advised yeah. by by my classmate of mine that, because ano siya, <laughs> na interview siya. So he told me na, bro, 
try mo kayang i-follow up. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. yeah, follow up I did. And, uh, yes, yun na yun. Nagtuloy-tuloy na yun. Scheduled and for the review. And the rest is history, The rest no? is history. The rest is 20 history. Twenty years after. Actually, parang ano pa nga eh. Parang, nung una parang ayaw, ano, medyo natakot din ako kasi they told me that, uh, okay, they're hiring me and then they're going to assign me in Tondo. Wow. So, al- alam mo naman ang reputation ng Tondo, di ba? Yes. So, mm. parang during that time, wow, parang scary, di ba? Yes. And then, ang layo ko pa kasi I live in Rizal. So, wow. but, but okay. then again, di ba, parang magiging choosy pa ba ako? Eh, di ba, miral ko na yan, di ba? So, yeah. So, ano lang, medyo, medyo parang kinabahan ka lang, natakot kasi you're, you're, you're gonna be assigned there. But, uh, yeah, the rest is history, no? And it, and it went out well. Actually, that my stint there in in Tondo really taught me a lot of uh, lessons. No, not only yeah. in my career, not only the technical stuff, the technical knowledge, but in also character. Because you know the different kinds of customers that you and you that I got to engage with there. Talagang it really tested you. Eh. Tested your patience, tested your character, and then how can you be able to perform under pressure, di ba? under pressure internally and externally. So, sobrang ano rin, sobrang grabe yung naging experience and training ko dyan. So, yeah. So, lahat nung, uh, you know, that I become, it's uh, it's all because of that experiences in life that you ano, that you were able Ganda. to kudos yeah. mm. kudos engineer um <laughs> makakatawa makakatawa ah uh, kala mo yun unilove unilove ko pala dati no oh I, nag unilove those ako. are things oh. those are things i didn't see in linkedin anymore no? pero so, pero uh, pero man, months lang yun kasi i was also reviewing lang, for, the exams, for the board exams for the board exams that time at saka kasi since Correct. pharmaceutical siya so sabi ko Hmm, baka hindi ako bagay dito exactly. or probably I, I, or if yes. if ever I have to transfer to probably facilities, facility yeah. operations, mm. maintenance yeah. Yeah. but but not in the, you know, warehouse logistics mm. uh, or yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um engineer next part uh mm-hmm. I want to ask you, you know, you being an engineer that's coming from a unique background, having worked in the local scene, like you mentioned, a heart mm-hmm. of Meralco, di ba? Local. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And now you've worked in Hydro Tawa, right? In Canada, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, we want to know some, uh, siguro, I'll, I'll ask maybe around three questions and then just tell us the difference between the local and the international scene. Okay? So, siguro yung una, what okay. is the difference of electrical technologies? In the local scene versus the international scene, how where are we? You know how are we faring there? Okay, uh, here, because uh, the engineers here, or actually even, because pwede kasi ano yan, eh, technologists, designers, technicians, or engineers. Uh, unahin ko na muna salary wise. Eh. Okay. <laughs> salary wise, uh, salary wise, no. Even if uh, you are technologists or technicians here, uh, it really pays well. Wow. Okay. It it really pays well, and um, uh, back there, because you know, you know how important these uh, skills are. They were right, especially is among electricians, no. Uh, lalo na sa Meralco, di ba? Yung mga lineman natin, di ba? Yung mga ganyan. So, they're very important, very critical. Uh, but I guess it's, it's, it's really also a function of, um, of, the, of the economy, right? So, I, I hope they can be paid more. Especially because this is, uh, you know, uh, skilled skilled jobs. No? So, dito kasi yun nga, no? it, 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 it pays well. Uh, minsan nga, nagugulat ako dito yung mga, yung mga plumbers, yung mga technicians, naka-4x4 ano, eh. naka eh. 
Grabe. <laughs> oh. Grabe naman. Wow. Right, right, right. Uh, but, yeah. But again, not, nothing to take away from them kasi talagang mahirap yung, ano, mahirap yung trabaho. Yes. Ano? So, yes. it really takes a lot of skills no, to, to be able to perform all those kinds of um, all those kinds of jobs. And they're really in demand here. They're really in demand here. So, yeah. So, in terms of salary, yeah. So, that's yung isang major difference na nakikita ko, no? which I hope it changes no, in time. No? Uh, what else? In terms of... Um, technologies, engineer. Te- Kamusta? Okay, sa technologies naman, uh, I think we have a lot of um, engineering technology professionals here. So... They are more on uh, the design, the design aspect, okay? Uh, particularly for the electrical side. So, sa, sa design ng mga equipment, no? design ng mga systems. So, yan, in demand ng mga technologies dyan, okay? Back in the Philippines, mm-hmm. I'm not really sure how in demand they are Mm-mm. probably it's it's also again if the market is booming no like sa atin kasi i, I observe that uh while education is there but i think the demand for energy efficiency energy efficiency projects is really not yet at the level of uh of uh, let's say here in the US and, and Canada no sa atin kasi it's still a developing market no and uh, the demand is quite low okay and it's um, more driven by private sector right Ooh. kaya tinamo diba even Meralco it's a pri- yeah. private sector ang Meralco pero we're at the for, for, yeah. forefront of uh, you know energy efficiency of yeah john uh, say engineer is it uh, government it is, it is government. Wow. It's 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 actually it's it's both government and uh, private sector. But the thing here is that uh, the plans are really laid out well. So we have uh, specific targets already in terms of net zero. Like for example, in the case of Hydro Ottawa, we are targeting net zero by twenty thirty. So yeah, medyo medyo ambitious kasi the the government of Canada is is actually targeting net zero by 2050 and um uh, electrification of the transport industry by 2040. So mm. wala ka na makikitang yeah. gasoline powered cars here by by 2040. So uh, and wow. again, the Hydro Ottawa is really a steps uh, ahead no again it's it's ambitious but that's the goal no net zero yeah. by by 2030 no so it's going back it's it's really driven by both the private and public sector yeah and uh lalo na dito ang talaga nakikita ko is that uh the support of government in terms of education in terms of incentives ang laki talaga ng difference no here yeah. you have a lot of Kasi you have targets. You are mandating industries, uh, commercial uh, exactly. customers to, to go into energy efficiency, to into, into conservation, into demand response, so in all that. So, uh, and of course, it entails, you know, uh, sometimes it entails big investment. So, dito talagang they really fund and finance uh, projects, yeah, energy efficiency projects through incentives. Ganda. So, ang dami. Actually, nagulat talaga ako. Nagulat ako. I was really surprised that there are a lot of uh, incentives that can be offered to to customers here, both commercial and, and residential. Even ngayon nga, we're working on the, the Zero Emission Vehicle Infrastructure Program Incentive. So, ito rin, up to up to around a hundred thousand dollars of incentives for okay. those who will put up electric charging stations. Okay, so whether level one, level two, or level three chargers, you have uh, you know you you can save up to uh, you 
could apply for for grants and incentives of for up yeah. to fifty percent, fifty percent of your project costs, or a maximum of one hundred thousand dollars. So, magkano sa pesos yun, di ba? You know, so it's millions, di ba? Million, million, di ba? Million. So that's I think four point two, four point three million, probably. Tama ba? Nanti ka na ano na ako sa mat. But stay on hundred thousand times forty two. But anyway, so you can see, no, you can see there. Ah, uh, nakikita mo na na. Uh, with all the plans in place, there really support from both private and public sector. Uh, sa Philippines kasi ang naging observation ko, well, I hope, baka nagbago na ngayon, ano, but when, when I was still there, my observation kasi it's, it's really more, uh, it's really more uh, uh, private sector led. Of course, mm-hmm. nandiyan ang government, but I think it's, it's really not enough pa. Kasi, I think ako rin, ano, what I've learned is that government has to set example. Right? Government has to set example. All their buildings and facilities should be, you know, energy efficient. Kasi dito, gan- ganun na nakikita ko eh. Government is leading the way. Their buildings, their facilities, uh, their transportation system, it's, it's, it's very efficient. No? So... Kapag nakikita mo kasi if government is leading the way and they're setting by example and they ha- they can, you know, uh, provide all these programs, grants, incentives. So, of course, ang laking tulong din sa private sectors and all those uh, customers who who are pursuing energy efficiency projects. So, yun, in terms of of uh, those things, but uh, I hope, no, with the passing of the Energy Efficiency and Conservation Law dyan sa Philippines, I think around 2019 yata, no? So that will really move the needle, no? To to drive uh, in uh, education and hopefully investments, incentives, no? To uh, to customers para yeah. talagang, ano, uh, ma-achieve yung mga goals of a yeah. uh, transition, no? Of the energy transition to, to a more sustainable yeah. one. Engineer, uh, in terms of People, you mentioned uh, throughout your life, you've been always upskilling, learning new mm-hmm. regulations, learning new skills. Uh, for our audience, no, uh, people to follow or people to read about or you know, authors in terms of learning electrical engineering or energy engineering or, or these HVAC systems, no, sino mga paborito mo, uh, engineer? Ako? Ano sino bang paborito ko? Ah... Uh... Yung, well, for for example, for lead kasi, ang dami niyang, okay. when, you, when you become a lead uh, member or associate, you have the access to a lot of materials eh, in terms of uh, energy efficiency, conservation, building design, the building envelope, solar, renewable, so all those things. Eh. So, uh, you can have access to all of that, no? When when you when you go into lead, and then um, uh, red screen. No? So red screen is an energy management uh, software. Red so wow. that's red screen. So that's that's what we mm-hmm. use here when we evaluate projects, uh, systems, electrical systems, renewable energy systems. So because it 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 provides you with all the calculations that you need uh, in terms of the feasibility of the project, the technical side, and yes. then the financial side, and then the environmental side. So nandun na rin, pati yung mga carbon computation. So uh, if if uh, if uh, they can subscribe to Red Screen, and there are also courses available for that. Uh, it's 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 highly recommended. Because uh, I have a lot of and it and it's global, you know. So even if your project is Philippines, for example, uh, I could still use Red Screen, and it's it's, it's applicable. Yeah, because yeah. All, all the all the NASA and weather data are all there. So even if your project is uh, some other part of the world. Uh, all the relevant data needed is there in terms of, uh, for example, how much is the potential yield of a so- solar project in this location versus in this yeah. location. 
Yeah. So it, it's 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 really uh, helpful. No? And uh, what else? Uh, uh, there are training programs available, uh, like for the Association of uh, Energy Engineers. Uh, so Philippines, I think DOE is also into accrediting certified energy managers. So if uh, you know if that's your focus, if that's your uh, your, your calling or your path, diba? in the energy sector, you could also you know try for those uh, you know training programs and certifications offered by by the government by DOE or kahit ano kahit private uh, you know training centers that uh, that that really helps no kasi iba rin yung nare-refresh kay no it's it's always a continuous process yeah. a continuous uh, you know life naman is a ano eh, no it's a lifelong uh, education and journey for all of us so we learn mm-hmm. every step of the Maganda way mindset, and, and yeah. If, yeah and if there's yeah. a chance that you could improve yourself and become a better version of you well, why not Diba? Yeah. Mm. Especially makikita mo rin yan eh when when you are at work and uh, you could see the things na you're handling and you're dealing with and you could uh, know all these things. Makikita mo na rin sa sarili mo eh on, on what specific areas in your professional career that you would want to work on, you want to add on or you want to improve on. Ayun. Galing. Mm. Engineer Alfred actually you know, I, I think what's so offbeat about you and why you fit our show, no, it's not because you're only an, uh, I know, like a R E E R M E L E D G A whatever. Uh-huh. You know? It's not just because you're an electrical engineer, but that you're you're willing to learn and you're willing to adapt and you're very very open to helping people and kind of like opening that impact, no. So mm-hmm. I guess one last word from you, uh, for this show, no. Uh, what would be your advice for people, especially electrical engineers who want to make their way to make their path? No? Um, you can think back to what you, uh, how you were feeling ma- <laughs> yeah. 18 years ago, di ba? Um, <laughs> like, like, what advice, no? <laughs> like, what advice would you leave, um, you know, young electrical engineers or okay. those who want to go into this yeah. field or this uh, industry? Okay, well... Yun nga, no? uh, I think to begin with, you should really set your mind to it. Okay, so, kasi alam mo naman tayo, pag high school, di ba? Pag graduating na, minsan, nasusway lang tayo kung anong, di ba? Kung saan pupunta yung, yung friends. Kaibigan, yeah. Kaibigan, uh, but really, you know, talagang uh, think about it, no? Think about it kung, kung saan yung path na gusto mo. And if you ever... Uh, choose to take engineering uh, courses. Uh, you have to set your mind that engineering is not, you know, it's uh, it's not an easy course. Actually, whatever discipline, whatever major, yeah. you would want to pursue in engineering. No, uh, and particularly for electrical engineering. Uh, Minsan kasi may mga ano eh, no? may mga myths, myths about it. No? Like for example, if uh, is electrical engineering all about math? No? While, yeah, math is certainly an important part of electrical engineering, but it's not the only thing that matters. Yeah. No? So you have to have a strong understanding of uh, applied sciences. No? So dyan papasok ang physics, material sciences, among other fields. Oh. And uh, of course, para complete package ka, of course, yung other skills, no? other soft skills like empathy. communications, empathy. comms, no? communications, relationship management. No? Yes. Uh, ito kasi, I don't know if, if uh, the school mukhang hindi ito tinuturo eh, no? but again if, <laughs> alam mo yun um, maaaring hindi siya tinuturo pero on in yourself kasi in how you um, uh, present yourself even kahit nung college pa no? if, if you know if, if you uh, train yourself to uh, pag may mga presentation di ba? you do it uh, para ano ma-overcome din yung ano yung kasi nga Again, the, the mindset kasi pag-engineer, o oh, back-end lang ako ah. 
'di ba? I'll just do the analysis back end, no. Wag mo kong paharapin diyan. <laughs> 'Di ba? So, but again, when when you go into the uh, you know, the real stuff, no, the corporate world or in the mm. pag nagtatrabaho ka na is that you get you can be exposed to a lot of ano, to a lot of situations, a lot of scenarios. So you have to be flexible and adaptable yes. and and uh, hindi mo lang sasabihin na no, I should only be doing this. Or, di ba, it's not part of my job description. But kasi ngayon, di ba, na rin ang labanan, you know. There are a lot of things that you need really to to work on and be, be flexible about. So, meron ding, ang tingin, electrical engineering is all about fixing electrical appliances or equipment, di ba? So, hindi naman, ano, it, it can really, while we can work on that, no, but definitely yung expertise goes far beyond that. No? Exactly. So again, it's it's wide. Electrical engineering can involve a lot of uh, you know designing, developing, testing, which mm. we did in Power Lab, no, and probably on the operations and maintenance side of electrical systems. So it's a wide range of applications. Eh? And as mentioned, kanina, maraming opportunities that can open up for you. So yeah. kung kung ang tingin mo lang is electrical engineering is just you know, fixing things, fixing electrical things. So, uh, it's not, no. So, it's it, it can open up a lot of uh, things for you. A lot of areas, no. Kanina, sabi natin, no. Power generation, distribution, telecoms, control systems, and a lot of uh, roles, no, can can be yeah. for you. So, siguro, uh, what I could uh, advise uh, uh, those people no, that, that probably be interested in taking up electrical engineering is, you know, uh, try to develop a strong uh, problem-solving skills. No, so kami na ano talaga nun, eh? I mean, tinatawag nila discarte, di ba? No. So you mm. have to be, you have to be creative, you have to be innovative, you have to be, you know, uh, level up your your game. Because iba in training, I'm telling you guys, no. Uh, pag nakagraduate ka ng and I think it also applies to probably other courses, no, like mm-hmm. law, medicine. Kapag nakagraduate ka, sobra yung feeling na it's like you're so accomplished. It's it's because of you know of uh, the difficulty, no. It took you, no, to, mm-hmm. to actually pass, to actually complete, to actually finish the the program or the course. So alam yun, carry that feeling. No, carry that mm-hmm. feeling. Because it's nakaka ano yun eh. It 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 raises your confidence, even if pagdating mo sa 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 real world is so, that you feel uh, like parang kulang pa ako. You you feel like you don't have enough experience. No, but again, try to put that mindset or perspective that because of the training, if because of the discipline, and because of the principles that you, concepts that you have learned, definitely you could adapt. You could uh, you could engage, and you could do it. No, you just have to really uh, try and try and try. No, and uh, what else? Stay up to date. Stay up to date with the latest technology. Lalo na ngayon, information is very quick, easily accessible. Back then, ang hirap eh, di ba? Uh, during our time, hindi pa uh, dial up pa eh, no? <laughs> I think dial up pa yung internet. So, we na kami mamabad doon, engineer. Hindi oh, niyo ba inubutan yung drop? Hindi na. So, alam mo yun, we resort really to going to libraries. Yeah. Diba? To, wow. to do research, uh, to study there. And ngayon, take advantage of technology because it's it's yeah. really, it's, it's, it's uh, powerful. you know, all materials, yeah, exactly, powerful. All materials are easily accessible. So, it's, uh, it's about, you know, uh, I think about proper na maging up to date tayo with the latest technology with yep. of course taking advantage also of technology right yeah. so electrical engineering is um, rapidly evolving same with energy diba? the landscape is you know shifting dramatically so fast dami nang nagbabago with the trends uh, like sa energy smart grid electric vehicles uh, and later on magugulat tayo that uh, we can actually do transactive energy. So it's like a peer-to-peer trading, right? So mm-hmm. lahat yan enabled by technology, right? Diba? So ang bilis, no? It's, it's a rapidly evolving field. 
kaya it's important to stay current with the latest uh, developments in technology no? okay so what else uh, of course strong foundation in in math and and, and sciences no so that mm. will really be a key that will really be a big help and of course uh hindi dapat mawawala to of course god first no so uh, yep, yes yep of course no? <laughs> prayers yeah, yes. prayers always seek for guidance and always be thankful no for for everything that's happening in your life no whether good whether bad so it's it's uh it's all about you know uh giving all the thanks and glory to our lord di ba parang ano di ba from ateneo kayo di ba right Opa. yeah Uh-oh. yeah so yeah so yung admirium de gloriam right yes yes, yes. Uh, so um <laughs> uh so yun so i think with 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 the um, uh with that with a combination of um of uh prayer giving thanks mm-hmm. and hard work uh i think it's uh, it's a sure fire formula no? in in whatever field or uh that you want to to pursue whether you're still studying or whether you are working right now mm. siguro uh, as a closing do you have anything that you want to like uh promote uh, or talk about engineer. What are you excited about in the next few days, lang? Uh, few and, days? <laughs> yeah, or a few months? Few days, few months, ba? Well, Long run game, actually, engineering, no? Long run game. Okay. Yeah, like, as, as I mentioned earlier, diba? So it's uh, you know it's because of uh, you know climate change, and uh, the energy industry is rapidly changing, diba? The energy landscape. Uh, of course, big player here is the technology. You know? The technological advances are really, uh, you know, uh, making all this work. Because you know? it's 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 really difficult to uh, to make it a hundred percent fuel source or energy source to be clean, right? So, um, but again, technology is there. Um, we're talking about energy transition, electrification, decarbonization. So these are the things that are, um, uh, you know, that uh, in a way really excite me, you know, because uh, w- what's in store for us. You know? uh, now I'm, I'm seeing it here with the electrification of fleet, of public transportation, uh, a lot of electric vehicles here, uh, charging stations are being put up. So uh, when I was there, parang laging pinag-uusapan pa lang din namin yan eh. Di ba? About electric vehicles, about renewable energy technologies, and we are actually doing tests about it now. Specifically, electric vehicles, no? We're doing some tests uh, in, in the power lab back then. But, uh, uh, sa nakikita natin, parang, you know, hindi pa rin ganun yung adoption eh, no? not that uh, high in terms of adoption, in terms of probably the regulations and policies in place. So it's still a developing market no, for for us in the Philippines. And moving here and seeing actually implementations, uh, no? so I'm really looking forward to the next phase of the energy transition. No? But really, it's, it's all about the environment. It's all about, uh, you know, balancing balancing the economic side of it balancing the sustainability side of it and the affordability side of it no so yan yung sinasabi nilang energy trilemma eh. so it's really a balance of those things yeah. and uh, before kasi we're just focusing on you know on energy on the prices but yeah. we neglect we neglect the the environment and then the social yeah. side of it but now it has to be a balance and uh, a lot of uh, plans roadmaps and uh, pathways to net zero are being discussed are being yeah. planned out and uh, this is really something to re- really look forward to and again uh, I think Meralco is in the right way in the right direction no? especially in the things that we do uh, when we educate our customers no? so uh, and we started it, no? we started it in, in Power Lab. Uh, a lot of campaigns and a lot of uh, technical support and tips that we provide to our customers. So 
uh you know that 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 what excites me now that's what excites me now and uh of course to our kababayans back there uh yes of course it's 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 really about bright ideas you know? it's really about uh, power ideas you know? for 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 our customers you now you will really learn a lot from uh, all the tips and um, uh, information that uh, yeah. that your utility you know, that Miralco shares to its to its customers and I'm I'm a testament to that you no know? because I, I uh, I've been there um, developing the programs and actually uh, being part of the implementation of all these education programs. Yeah. And uh, you know the technical support, the research, and the testing, and all that work uh, we do to provide uh, very relevant and uh, important information to our customers. So, yeah, it's, it's always something to 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 look forward to you know, for yeah. for our customers. No, and makakatulong talaga really to to save on energy consumption, to save on costs, and to save on 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 our yeah, environment. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, engineer. Ah, uh, excited, excited na rin kami regarding that energy trilemma that you mentioned. No? If we were mm. able to balance all of those, man, it might have been a better world that we that we are living in, de ba? Um, so yun, uh, engineer Alfred. Once again, thank you so much for your time. Uh, if people want to contact you, saan pwede, uh, engineer? Uh, in case may tanong ulit sila sa mga Korean, <laughs> like si Matno. Ah, uh, okay. Sa Messenger, no. yes. So, Alfred oh, wow. Iporak, <laughs> yes. yes. It's on Messenger, <laughs> and I have IG as well. It's uh, right. Reddy Keropi, R E D D Y K E R O P I. Yon. So, awesome. lang. I, I'm just, uh, I'm just maintaining, you know, Messenger and uh, and uh, Instagram. Instagram. Ayan. Congratulations, guys. Galing, galing, galing ng program nyo. Thank you Thank very you, much. Sir. Uh, nakahambol, nakahambol. Thank you, Engineer. Ingat po kayo. Good luck sa Canada. Alright, alright. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, sir. Ingat po. Bye-bye.